Yo, 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 what is up YouTube watchers? It is your boy back at it again and I am super excited to announce that I'm gonna be making a comeback to this channel. So first things first, yes, it's been over one year since I've actually posted on this channel. I do have a gaming channel which is called Eco Beast Gaming. I've still been grinding on there but yes, it's been over a year since I've made a vlog and pretty much the reason for that being is that I've had a lot, a lot of changes in my life happening. I got a new career, I was moving to a new home, uh, my wife actually recently just had a baby, so yeah, it's just been pretty crazy lately. And now I feel like I'm at a point where I can now start making videos again and I'm super, super excited about this. So before we get into today's video, I am sad to announce that I will no longer be making videos with my LS swapped E46. I did end up letting that go and selling it due to the fact that with my new career, I did have to get a work vehicle. So pretty much I just sold the Beamer and got a work vehicle and yeah, but we still have the truck. I really do want to get another BMW at some time in the future. I'm a really big BMW fan. I've had a BMW 528i and E60. I've also had the uh, 330ci with the LS swap. And yeah, I'm a really big Beamer guy. I want to get back into it, but we're still going to be making F-150 content. And anyway, I have done a lot of stuff to my F-150 in the time that I've been away from YouTube. So let's just get into explaining that. Alright guys, so as you can see, I did get some new wheels for the F-150. So, the wheels that we got are some 09 to 14 limited wheels. I got them off Facebook Marketplace for a really, really good price, and I've actually been wanting these wheels for a super long time. I don't plan on this being my permanent setup for the whole lifetime of the truck. I do want to end up getting another setup, but for right now, I wanted to do a slight upgrade from the 17s, and these 22s have made the truck look awesome. Compared to the 17s, it's just a night and day difference. I love the way these came out. All right, guys, and so other than my wheels, I did get a new STX grill on the F-150. I got this grill from a guy on Facebook Marketplace who took this grill off of his STX. So this is actually a factory velocity blue grill and it looks sick. I love the honeycombs that come with the STX grill. It is definitely a big upgrade over my black XL grill. I really, really like the way this came out as well. So other than that, as you can tell, I did take the sport sticker off of the rear of my bed. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I was always kind of scared it would leave a residue or maybe a different color, but it came out awesome. No glue, no different colors or anything like that. If you watch my channel, you already know that I do have the Caltrack traction bars installed on the F-150. And when I very first installed these, I will tell you that it was the well, it felt like one of the biggest mistakes I made on the truck because they were very functional. It, it took away a lot of my wheel hop, right? But it left a lot of creaking noises with the truck and I'm like, oh my gosh, this can't be right. So I even took it back to the shop where I got it done, had them check it out. They took a little bit of tension off there, but it didn't really fix it the way I wanted to. It was creaking super, super bad on bumps and everything. So before I explain how I fixed that, this is kind of the way I figured it out. So to kind of go in chronological order, I did end up fixing the creakingness, but the way I figured it out was I actually installed some two inch drop shackles to the rear because, okay, so when I had the three five drop on there only originally, the truck actually sat perfect, but whenever I installed the Caltrack traction bars, it kind of made the back of it go up a little bit, like an inch or an inch and a half. So that is why I installed the two inch drop shackles in the rear. And as soon as I installed the drop shackles, I started having so many vibrations because my pinion angle was way off. Like my freaking drive shaft was like, my drive shaft and my actual like rear diff were at such an angle, like you could just tell that was immediately the problem. So I looked into it and figured out about the uh, pinion angle shims. So I got some pinion angle shims and um, in the midst of installing that, I realized that the creaking from my traction bars was coming from my helper leaf spring. So you have your two normal leaf springs right here, but normally right above my traction bar, there was a helper leaf spring, which is on the bottom. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you might not. You can look at your truck and see it on there. but. 
the helper leaf spring was actually too close to the traction bars and it was like just creaking on the traction bars rubbing into it terribly me and my dad got under there for a few hours today working it out we disassembled the whole rear end so in the midst of me and my dad installing the shims to the rear we ended up just taking off the helper spring i looked on some forums and a lot of guys that have the caltrack traction bars said that they did take off the helper spring because it was just in the way but pretty much when they installed mine they just clamped it in there so it was making all these crazy noises but now that i took off the helper spring in the rear the f-150 is not making any crazy it's not making any crazy noises like it was. I would hit any bump and just anchor, 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 anchor. And yeah, it just, it wasn't a good look. But anyway, we got the, we got the drop shackles installed in the rear and it gave the truck a really, really nice uh, stance, even with the traction bars. So the traction bars made it go up in the rear. We corrected it with the uh, shackles and then ended up having to install the, um, shims to correct my pinion angle and at the same time as i just installed the shims i literally took off the helper spring and it is actually helping me so much so pretty much for a build update guys that's pretty much it for right now we got the new wheels on the stx grill and we got the truck sitting perfectly with the two inch drop shackles from Belltech. shout out to my sponsor Belltech. we also have the uh the shims from Belltech as well i actually got those from them as well um and the 3.5 drop kit from Belltech. So this thing is actually sitting really awesome. And uh, yeah, shout out Belltech. They make awesome products. I'm very proud to say that I am a Belltech partner. I love their parts. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I'm Like I said, I'm super happy to be making a comeback to the channel. I really, really like making YouTube videos. And it's not that it just, it's not that I didn't really want to make videos. I wanted to, but I just had a lot going on and it kind of felt like it was getting in the way of my other stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what was going on. Give you guys a quick build update and let you guys know that I'm going to be coming at you guys with some sick content in the future. I've already been planning out content for a long time since I've been taking my break. I have a, just a notepad inside of my phone that I just took down a, a bunch of ideas. So I'm definitely going to be coming at you guys with some content very soon appreciate you guys still staying sub to the channel if you're a new viewer make sure to smash that subscribe button make sure to drop a like if you watch all the way to the end as it helps new people find the channel and uh yeah if you guys are into gaming content i'm always gaming on my channel eco beast gaming just like the name of my channel but with gaming at the end and yeah i appreciate you guys watching the video and i will see y'all on the next upload